To a digital program called SketchUp where you can 3D model and plan and dream your uh, perfect design. And it's just gonna be a lot of fun to dream about and kind of gets all the ideas flowing. You can try different stuff, different designs. Make sure you got your feng shui right. Make sure all your materials match up nicely so that when you go into the final project and you're installing or building something, it's a lot more clear cut on how to do it. You build a lot more stuff yourself. You could save a lot of money. If you know what you need to do and then you research how to do it, Kind of become your own little uh, multi-functional person. We're gonna break it down, show you guys how it's done. Come on. So now that we got our tools and I got the best partner ever, I'm gonna be teaching him how to take measurements so that we can actually double team this, get it done fast. He'll be taking measurements, I'll be putting it into SketchUp, and we're gonna get this baby all put into our program real quick. Come on. So as you can see, it's a big rig. There's a lot of little things in here. So measuring it can seem kind of daunting because it's so big, but the biggest key is to break it up into steps. So first we're gonna measure the exterior so that we have a good perimeter, a good boundary to build everything in. And then we're gonna start breaking it up in small pieces, start with the cab, go up there, and kind of work our way back. So let's see how far we get. Start by roughly drawing an outline of the side, including all the necessary components like windows, wheels, hatches, and lights. Then carefully measure the length, width, height, and distance from the ground and diameters of all the necessary components. We started with the door side and worked our way around the rig until we had all the sides sketched out and measured. Once you have all the dimensions, it's time to relax with a cup of tea in your cozy nook and throw all of it into SketchUp. I'll be using the free version of this program, which is available to everyone just by simply creating a free account and signing in using a reliable browser. So when you get to the project space, familiarize yourself with the tools and play around with the planes. The tools all have keyboard shortcuts, which help me work a lot faster and more efficiently. The keyboard functions I use the most are Orbit, Hand Tool, Line, Rectangle, Circle, Eraser, and Push to expand the depth. In this video, I'll be drawing out the raw dimensions of our RV so I have a clear idea of what space we're working with. So first start by drawing the cab. It's the most complex part of the drawing and you can use your dimension drawings to frame out this space and extend your walls from there. I do have a degree in interior design, which really just means I have a decent amount of practice measuring dimensions and using drafting programs but SketchUp is really easy to use even for first time renderers and I've used it a lot as a tool to help visualize custom designs and also as a practical tool to create detailed construction plans for projects. The best thing about using a 3D program is the ability to visualize your design before you ever need to buy or construct materials. 
While designing, you can be aware of how much material you will need, what paints or textures you want to use, and the phases of installation. Overall, the extra planning helps the project just run more smoothly. You can use the information I'm sharing for any home you're planning to convert or even just to dream and play with ideas for a future project. Here you can see the progression of the project from rough sketches to a moldable 3D model. If you have any questions about our project or how to use SketchUp, let me know in the comments below. So I looked for a downloadable file for our RV online but couldn't find one. So in the description box, I've left the link to the file I created so you can use it as a template to plan your RV tiny home. I hope this helps and thanks for watching. Bye!